Good morning, I'm Youth Pastor Sean Douglas. Hi, I'm Youth Pastor Makima Douglas. And today we just want to uh, encourage you. Uh, we understand that a lot of things are going on right now in the world. Um, as you see the news, um, we, you know, of course, you know about George Floyd and that tragic death, that murder that took place. And we just want to speak some words to you today, words of encouragement, words of hope. Uh, so many things. We understand the anger, the frustration that's out there. And all across America, we're seeing it, uh, especially with the young people. Uh, they're, they're going through. It's a painful time. It's a painful experience, experience, but we all must go through this in order to get better. So right now, I just want to encourage you, and I want you to understand that Jesus said that how would, we, how would they know that you are disciples if we have love for one another? And it's time that we love one another. So it's very important that we get a message of love, hope out there. And so we have some exciting things that are going to take place. And uh, I'm going to leave it to my wife to explain to you what's going to what's going to go on. But we just want to encourage you right now. We understand understand the frustration. We understand the heartache. We understand ev all the emotions that are going on right now in our country, and it, rightfully so. Uh, we need to address these issues. And as I said before in one of my posts, I, I posted on Facebook that I'll never become desensitized to to murder or injustice or racial discrimination. We should always want to fight against the evils of this world, and so it's so important that we fight not only uh, 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 you know at our homes but in our communities that we fight these ills and these these problems that are going on in order to do that we have to be unified and we can do it in a nonviolent way let's take advantage of this opportunity that we have America um, to do this the right way this is a time of accountability and am I my brother's keeper yes I am and together we can do more. We have more in common than not. So here's an opportunity for you to participate. Tomorrow in the city of Vineland, New Jersey, there's going to be a nonviolent, peaceful, peaceful gathering um, because of this senseless killing. It has brought to our attention we have to have change and reform. So we want you to be a part of it. But we don't want to lose sight of our goal and our purpose. So again, as we gather, we're unifying our forces so that we can bring about the reform that's needed. So if you can't join us, we understand. You can do something. Each person has a part to play. So if you can't attend, please send your prayers. And if you can't attend um, for, what, for other reasons, stay home. Stay home because we still want to be very careful as this pandemic is still very live, well, and causing havoc. But let's take advantage of this turmoil and turn it around and make it work out for our good. So tomorrow in the City of Violet at 11 a.m., we're meeting at City Hall and we'll proceed from there. Again, um, it's a non-violent march. Uh, we want to make sure that we, we're, we're going to honor George Floyd and um, the, his legacy and his memory, but we're going to do it in a peaceful, unified manner. So we're going to have all walks of life there. We're going to have uh, City Hall that's participating. We're going to have the firefighters, the police department, who's in, who are in unity with us um, in understanding that there was a tragic death, a murder that took place, and we want to stand against that. And so we're going to have all walks of life there. We're going to have, uh, you know, community leaders there. We're going to have clergy there. Again, city officials, prosecutor's office is going to be there. So we're looking for a rally that's going to encourage people, uplift people, but also give people, um, you know, some solutions. We, we want to provide solutions to this community and find changes where we can find reform, where we can better, um, you know, communicate with the police and they can better communicate with us in the community. So it's so important that we understand that this is a unity march. It is it's a one of solidarity. We're on one accord and we're going to march peacefully through the city of Island again. So parents, please be mindful if you have young adults, if you have uh, millennials at home, please talk to them. But parents, we want to do this responsibly. So if your child or young adult or your teen or uh, you're a young adult and you want to come out, we want to be responsible and accountable as well. We're being examples of us being unified so that we can get the subsequent responses, um, demands, expectations, correction, modification done. So let's do it right. In love, in peace, and in power. Again, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, Violin City Hall. Meet us there and you'll get more directions once we get there. I think the march starts at 12, but again, Violin City Hall, 
11 a.m., 7th and Wood. Be there with us so we can march in unity. Any questions, hit us up on social media. Yeah. God bless you, God bless and you, you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.